So, uh, <clears throat> to start off this video with a time saver tip here. This is uh, doing the water pump on a 2.2 liter uh, Saturn uh, L series with the Ecotech engine. You have to take the exhaust manifold off. Well, you got these three studs that uh, attach to the exhaust pipe going towards the back of the car, along with your flex joint there. Now, <clears throat> you have a length problem on removing it, so what I would recommend this comes with a uh, Torx head on it, about 3 8 of an inch long. I'd zip this that right off, but don't get into the threads. Don't get into the threads. See, the threads start up here. So, <clears throat> whether you do it on the car or get it off and then do it, it'll make installation a lot easier. I did mine after I got it off the car, but uh, getting it out of there was quite a job with the, the extra length. So, it's only a quarter to 3 8 inch, but it will make a, a big difference in. Uh, especially during installation of the uh, exhaust pipe and the manifold back onto there. So, yeah, if you hear a bunch of kids screaming in the background, they're, uh, they're having a pool party next door, so it's not like I've got ten young girls strung up or anything here, so don't don't worry about that. We got an agreement. I put up with this, and uh, they'll put up with my uh, inline seven-cylinder run with no exhaust manifold here in a few days. So, you know, it's a give and take in the neighborhood, right? Anyway, uh, the video continues on there with uh, more of the, uh, uh, and another good installation tip I come up with on uh, the uh, <coughs> water pump. So I'm part way through uh, doing a water pump job on this uh, Saturn L L100 with a 2.2 liter in it there. That's that same one that broke the timing chain a couple years ago. It's, it's still living, but water pump uh, started leaking oil about a year ago um, one thing I noticed that I did I did different I didn't undo the thermostat housing there I just took the hose off the end of it I figured that was easier than breaking another seal that uh, is working fine up till now um, so I've got the oh, different bad lighting here I got the Lyle 13800 uh, special tool there to hold the uh, chain in place that drives the water pump and uh, I realized that even with that a person could still drop one of these uh, little tiny uh, 10 millimeter headed bolts down into your uh, timing chain area which would be a natural disaster so uh, I figured out uh, something that might help people out here you buy a stack of about 20 of these, uh, I don't know what they are, super powerful niodium magnets or something there. Uh, these ones are quarter inch diameter, and I'd give them about an eighth inch thick. I just happen to have them around uh, for picking things up, like drop sockets and stuff. But you want, like say, about 20 of them to get enough length. And basically, they fit in the, in the bolt head that way. So... I'm going to try to show this. So I got one of the bolts in there still. So basically you just feel around till you got the magnets. Now you have to uh, undo the, take the torque off the little bolt first. It's a 10 millimeter. And uh, untorque it, get it starting to screw out. Stick it out a couple turns and then stop. And then Basically, you just start spinning the magnets here. You see, maybe you can see me doing it there. Anyway, I'll show you the magnet stack down there. Yeah, it's stuck right to the head of that bolt. So unless these magnets come apart, which they don't want to do, that bolt's got to stay attached to my stack of magnets. It can't drop into the crank, uh, the chain area there. So I'll just keep twisting here. Yeah, I was just trying to think up some way to guarantee these bolts can't drop down there. And uh, there's like not much room for fingers. Oh, it's like threading to China. The magnets have quite a bit of grip too, so you can transfer torque through them. Yeah, it's getting loose now. Where the other one come out faster than that? It's 
weird. Maybe it's slipping. Anyway, it will come out and you won't drop it into the timing chain area. This one's being a bit of a turkey compared to the first one. But anyway, I don't want to make uh, too long a video here. So that will guarantee, and personally I would use the same way when you start them back in. You stick them to the magnets and then line them up and get a finger in there and start twisting them around. Uh, just trying to prevent, uh, you know, people from dropping a bolt in there and it being the end of the world. So I hope that's uh, helped to anybody.